Welcome to our volunteer coordinator training video. Before our building day, here's a checklist of what you should have. Remember to pick up your volunteer coordinator kit and sponsor folding sign. Please also remember to bring your own six foot folding table. Don't forget to purchase water and ice to fill the cooler provided by RTSB. It's also highly recommended to pre-label t-shirts which are in the volunteer coordinator kit before rebuilding day. Don't forget to label both the front and back. It's also optional for sponsor groups to provide coffee or breakfast items for volunteers. RTSB will provide lunch. Here's a quick description of your role as the volunteer coordinator. The volunteer coordinator assists and supports the house captain in every aspect of the project. The house captain manages the repairs at the site and the volunteer coordinator is the liaison between the house captain and the volunteers. It is the goal of the volunteer coordinator to look after the well-being of each volunteer at their site, make sure they have work to do and are taking breaks when needed. And don't forget, most importantly, to have a great rebuilding day experience. Step one, registration. Make sure to arrive before 7.30 to set up, as volunteers will begin to arrive at 8 a.m. In the morning, make sure the check-in table is set up that all signs are displayed and visible in front of the house and in group photos. The safety poster must also be posted and clearly visible. The check-in table will have the following items. The roster with all the names of registered volunteers. T-shirts ready to give volunteers after checking in. If t-shirts are not already labeled, make sure the volunteer labels the shirt front and back. Each site will receive a few extra t-shirts. Waivers will also be provided for volunteers not on the roster and for volunteers between the ages of 14 to 17. If they are a walk-in volunteer, make sure their name and email is legible on the waiver. House captain folder is also included in the volunteer kit. The house captain folder contains the scope of work. Please remind house captain to have uh, the scope of work signed by homeowner after the project is completed. The folder will also contain the kickoff schedule, RTSV fact sheet, homeowner profile, ladder safety, paint tutorial, phone list, copy of homeowner agreement, signed waivers, including copies for minors. Additional items in the volunteer kit include the following. A first aid kit, hand soap, which will accommodate sites for porta potties, hand sanitizer, paper towels, and RTSV brochures for any interested neighbors. Step two, lunch pickup. On the orange sheet, which was, which can be found in the top of your volunteer coordinator kit, uh, will show you the designated time and location for lunch pickup. You or a designated person will bring the lunches back to the project site and coordinate with the house captain when volunteers will break for lunch. The chips and cookies provided by RTSC, which was, uh, picked up along with your volunteer coordinator kit will be set aside for lunch. An optional item is to bring a Bluetooth speaker to keep the energy up throughout the day. And another optional, which mentioned before, was the coffee and breakfast items for your volunteers at the beginning of the day. We want to say again, a very big thank you for volunteering with us as a volunteer coordinator. We hope you have a wonderful rebuilding day.